Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing a seven-round mock draft for the Baltimore Ravens. This is based on my first-round mock draft that I did what should have been yesterday. We'll see. I don't know what day today is necessarily. should be Tuesday. But um, if you did not see that, you can check that out over here. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking that first-round mock draft. I'm extrapolating that out and saying, okay, what did the Ravens do the rest of those picks? So you should already know the first-round mock if you don't go watch that video. Um... That's about it. The, the I'm not doing compensatory picks because those are not in stone. So we have a first, second, fourth, fifth, and sixth round pick. Not a whole lot to run through here. Um, and the draft order, by the way, is from a week ago when I did the mock. So I understand that there is an updated draft order. Relax, okay? We're just uh, we're just kind of running through this. Plus, I want to be able to spend some time with Ravens fans. I love doing the seven round mocks. I get very few views on them, but. Um, I learn a ton, and it helps me with my first-round mocks. It helps me to understand your team. As I've said, you know your team better than I do. Um, I'm open to criticism, even harsh criticism, with the exception of some people that take it too far and get blocked. But um, everything and everything and anything and everything that you got to give me, give it to me because I need to learn more about your teams. I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's get started. With the 18th overall pick in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Rashad Bateman, wide receiver, Minnesota. Um, look, I, I just, I've been saying it for a while, and I haven't got a lot of pushback, so I don't think I'm saying anything that you don't already know, but I'm not a big fan of the wide receivers. Hollywood Brown, I think, has a lot of potential, a lot of upside, but but that's more as a Deshaun Jackson type, right? He's the guy that's going to blow open a game with one really good catch or, or two or three or whatever. What we need is, a, is an X. We need a guy that's going to come in and, and get that uh, eight, nine targets in a game and, and just move the sticks. And, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a team that has a lot of potential everywhere, but throwing the football is a problem. Um, probably the number one running team in football, especially when you factor in what your quarterback is capable of. But um, he's got an arm, and we got to showcase it, and we got to get him some more help. So I like having Rashad Bateman on one side, Hollywood Brown on the other side. Obviously, the tight end situation in Baltimore is fantastic. We run the ball really well. It's just it's it's the one key piece that I think we're missing, and we're going to capitalize on it right away. With the 50th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select. Andre Sisco, safety, Syracuse. Um, I mean, look, it's just I just think we need to get better at the position. Um, we've got some late-round guys. Maybe you like Deshaun Elliott and, and whatnot, but he's a sixth-round pick in 2018. Um, I mean, the fact that we tried to go out in free agency and rectify the situation tells me that the team isn't satisfied with where they're at. Um, that didn't super pan out, and I think at some point you just get to the point where you know, we can't just sit here and try to get old, washed up free agents. We, we got to try to get better. And so in the second round, we're going to go out and try to get Andre or we're going to get Andre Cisco to come in and um, really be a good center fielder in the middle of the field. I mean, it, we've got a pretty good pass defense, but the, the players are not where we want them to be. Largely, it's because of the talent of our corners. But if we get some additional help at safety, I mean, we're just we're just getting better. That's all there is to it. We're getting better and we need to get better at safety. With the 114th pick in the 2000 in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Ronnie Perkins, edge rusher, Oklahoma. Um, you know, I mean, it, look, I think at the end of the day, the identity of the Baltimore Ravens is and always will be defense. I mean, the AFC North is a smash mouth, brutal, violent division, and um, as much as I want the offense to be great. I don't see a Baltimore Ravens team that's great that doesn't have a dominant defense. And when I look at Judon, McPhee, Ngakwe, Bowser, all free agents coming up, um, we gotta we gotta keep that going. Um, and even even if we say, well, we're gonna resign A, B, or C or whatever, there's really nobody that we can resign that says, you know what, never mind, I don't want Ronnie Perkins. That's not gonna happen. They're either old, bad, or both. So um, again, we 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 just every team needs to be great off the edge. We're going to get Ronnie Perkins and continue to be a great defense. Um, so Ronnie Perkins out of Oklahoma. With the 105th, 56th overall pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Jarrett Patterson, offensive center, Notre Dame. Now there's one big caveat here, and that's going to come down to Patrick McCarry. Um Kind of an interesting thing. If, if you take him out of the equation, and what I think he's an undrafted free agent, isn't he? Um, yeah, 2019 undrafted free agent out of Cal, 6'4", 320. Um, I don't know if I'm fully invested yet, but he has taken over toward the end of the season, and it looks like at the very least he's been a pretty dominant pass blocker. So 
we're going to wait and see on that. And, and again, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about him. Um, but if we don't assume that he's going to be a dominant player, again, undrafted free agent out of Cal in 2018, very limited sample size, basically the second half of the season. Also not super dominant run blocker. But um, if we don't assume that he's just the long-term answer and we're good and we don't need a center, we need a center. If we like him and we want to ride with him, maybe we won't. And again, it's the fifth round, so it's not as though it's a super early um, – getting error messages my computer's about to crash <laughs> um i forgot what i was gonna say but if he's not the guy we need a guy jared patterson out of notre dame finally with the 178th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 nfl draft the baltimore ravens select cade mays offensive guard tennessee again if you didn't like the last pick you're probably not gonna like this one but i i look our tackles are phenomenal. I don't know that I really care for anybody on the interior. And even if we like Makari, um, is he a center or a guard? Because he's played a good amount of right guard. I know he's probably been better since he moved to center, and he's been most recently a center. But even so, we've now got Jarrett Patterson, Cade Mays, and Makari, which if all three of them are hits, which is unlikely, we now have three interior offensive linemen, and that's it. We don't have a fourth. Um, at least in my opinion, we don't. So worst-case scenario... Um, Mikari's great, Patterson's great, Mays is great, and we have three great interior offensive linemen. More like, more than likely, some of these guys aren't going to pan out, and we still probably need more. So, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I want to get the pass game going. This is a part of it. we got to protect our quarterback. It's not going to hurt in terms of our running ability, which is already on top of the world right now. Um, and we went out and got a little bit of help in Ronnie Perkins and Andre Sisco for the defense. I like the defense. Could use a little bit more. Um, and again, especially off the edge, which is critically important. If you see anything about the Tennessee Titans, is that they're a dominant team, but I don't think they're going to get it done because they don't have anyone, anybody that can bring pressure. We don't want to be that team. We don't want to be the team that, that just dominates in every category, but we cannot bring pressure, and that's going to be our undoing. So Perkins, Cisco, and then on the offensive side, we got Rashad Bateman to be our number one wide receiver, and then we got a little bit of help on the interior with Patterson and Mays. That's going to do it, folks. That is our seven-round mock draft for the Baltimore Ravens. If you like the video, please drop a like. Please subscribe so you don't miss any other uh, videos coming up. I do. I've, I've been, I'm, I'm getting kind of iffy here. I'm getting real close to missing a day. Um, but so far, it's been every single day I'm doing mock drafts, so make sure you don't miss that. Every Monday, I've got a first-round mock draft. Um, otherwise, there is a little join button. If you'd like to support the channel, that would be fantastic. But uh, otherwise, have a good day.